I'm Jace Peoples, entertainment editor for The Advocate, and this is Advocate Spotlight at PaleyFest LA. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's PaleyFest, the annual festival that salutes creative excellence in television. The Advocate caught up with the stars of TV's hottest superhero series, The Flash and Arrow on the event's red carpet, and asked them to weigh in on their show's groundbreaking inclusion of people of color and LGBT characters. It's great. I mean, it's it's really, it's also just kind of like something that I guess I don't think too much about because that's just kind of how TV should be now in 2015, to be honest. The Flash made history this year when it introduced viewers to TV's first gay supervillain, Pied Piper. I love when they brought Pied Piper along. I thought it was, you know, it's sad to me that it has to be a brave thing to bring a character like that on te television, uh, but I love that we're doing it. It's not just the forces of evil these super series are depicting in a new light. Arrow made history last year when it introduced the first bisexual super hero in a comic book inspired series. But not nice that they put that stuff in the show and you know if that's helping to sort of groundbreak in, in any way then that's great you know. God bless the bisexuals of this world I say you know and everyone in between and beyond you know. These two shows are also changing the genre from the inside by casting more characters with people of color and out gay actors. It's blind casting and it has been we've been waiting for it for a long long time and thank God it's here. Hearing from fans especially blurreds, black nerds and, and fans of color, um, it's really important for them to see themselves represented in comic books. Comic books are beloved by so many and so I think we're finally seeing more and more ethnicity in, the, in these shows and for me to be a part of that, it's not lost on me. Producer Andrew Kreisberg says the show's diverse approach is a reminder superheroes are for everybody. Our shows are filled with diversity whether it's men, women, you know, sexual orientation, black, white, Asian, you know, that our shows are filled just with people and we got the best actors for the parts and the best characters and hopefully everyone out there sees themselves in one of these characters. Faster than a speeding bullet, these shows are changing the way we view the never-ending battle between good and evil. Do you think that America is ready for a gay superhero on television like Arrow or The Flash? I don't, I, I, personally, I don't care if they are or not. It's time we had one. <laughs>